Democrats say the House will vote tomorrow on a resolution calling on Vice President Pence to invoke constitutional authority to remove President Trump. And with Pence seen unlikely to go along with that, on Wednesday they say they'll vote on whether to impeach the president. Lawmakers in both parties are weighing in on just what to do. Tonight we're hearing from Republican Congressman Mike Kelly of Butler on that and where Kelly was when the Capitol was stormed. Here's Stacey Smith. Republican Congressman Mike Kelly of the 16th District has been a staunch supporter of President Trump. He was among a group of congressmen who were objecting to the counting and certification of electoral votes from certain states, including Pennsylvania. And he was on the House floor last Wednesday when the mob broke in. It was surreal. It was something like, now this is something maybe you see in a movie. This is something in you know, uh, some kind of a fiction. This isn't something that would be taking place in the nation's capital. Uh, in the Capitol building, but it was, and it was, a, I, I think it was one of those things you look at and say, I never would have thought this could possibly happen, but it was, it was happening in real time right now for us. Were you afraid at any time? No, I, and I, I wasn't afraid because I've always had such great faith in, in first of all, our system. And then secondly, our Capitol police are very brave people. I, I just was thinking, you know what? I understand how feelings are right now. This has been coming on for four or five years. The, the pot's finally boiled over, but I didn't think it would be a violent uh, situation. Do you feel those who broke in should be prosecuted? Absolutely. Absolutely. When you break the law, you need to get prosecuted and there needs to be, there, there needs to be an atonement for what you do. Congressman Kelly also says that he is not sure who is responsible for leading the mob into the building. I don't know the answer to that because as I was on the floor of the House of Representatives debating again whether we thought the, the electors who were who were being certified and being counted that day had gotten there constitutionally. But the, the question still remains, Congressman, whether the president, by stating almost from election night on that the election had been stolen from him, that that was mm -hmm. a, a lie and that, that that made people gather there and then become this mob. Well, I, I don't know what you know, we're saying right away. Now, that was a lie. Uh, so when people say it was a lie, so why, why do you say it was a lie? Because you don't think what he says is true. So he must be lying. And I think that a lot of the people that I've talked to believe that the race was stolen. And so for people to say, well, he, if he had said something different, this wouldn't have happened. I think people responded to a situation that they thought in their, in their minds, again, and I wasn't there, so I can't and I can't speak for everybody. I think this pot has been boiling for a long time. It boiled over on Wednesday. Could the president have spoke differently. I'm sure he could have spoke differently. Hindsight's always uh, better than foresight, right? And hindsight's always 2020, and words do matter. And I wasn't there for his, his address to the public, but obviously there were things that he said that spurred people to do things they wouldn't normally do. At least I would hope they wouldn't normally do it. Moving forward, the president-elect Biden has stated that he wants to unify this country. Given the way things stand right now and how polarized it is, uh, can he unify the country? Uh, do you know what? I, I, I think he could uh, make a little stronger efforts to do it, especially right now. And I, I don't know that uh, the president-elect has uh, said anything that's infuriating anybody. I just think maybe the contrary. He hasn't said anything strong enough to calm things down. Kelly also said he doesn't believe that either the 25th Amendment should be enacted or that there should be another impeachment proceeding. And as for whether Donald Trump should lead the Republican Party forward, Kelly says that will be up to the people to decide.